One, two, four. Hello, my name is George and I live on a bike. <laughs> Today we're going to be covering the back end of my bike, uh, which means to say the rack and the, the bags. Um, the first thing item I should cover is the rear pannier, which is a Vauda Aqua Plus, I think, is uh, the designation. The plus being for the extra bag on the outside of the bag, the second bag, right? Um, it does not uh, come off. It stays on permanently. It is also waterproof. Um, and uh, I'm very glad that I have it. At first I thought I made a mistake. Uh, I was actually planning to buy this bag without the, uh, the plus part, but um, uh, they didn't have it. I was uh, in Oldenburg, Germany, and uh, uh, I uh, went all over the town and uh, uh, tried to find this. I, you know, since I have a black bike, I like having black bags. Uh, so I finally did find this bag um, at uh, the BOC store, um, but uh, they uh, did not have the, uh, the the normal, the regular one without the uh, the outside bag. Um, from the same store, I also bought uh, a new rear trunk bag, which is the uh, uh, Vada. Um, Silk Road Large. Uh, the newest model now I see online is uh, uh, a bit uh, different in design from this, but um, I wouldn't mind actually getting the same one again. Uh, it is not waterproof. Uh, you have to use some kind of, uh, I use some kind of a, um, uh, you know, like a w one of those covers that you put on a backpack or something that uh, 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 that makes it waterproof. Um, the uh, I would have liked to have had a waterproof one, but um, it just uh, you know they don't have it. Um, I haven't seen any, uh, and I like the design of this. It expands in size. It uh, uh, it's very flexible, and the great thing about it is that it also uses the rack time system so that I can just snap this off like that and uh, um, and uh, it's uh, you understand it's, it's a great system um, uh, it's uh, that is a uh, snap it uh, uh, rack time part the uh, the bag itself, I'm only carrying one here, but I actually have two of them uh, because when I'm sort of uh, in a local area, I tend to carry only one. Uh, the bag is great. It uh, mounts really perfectly to this uh, rack. Uh, I'm, I do a lot of research and I'm kind of meticulous in setting these things up, so I tested every bag available. Uh, and uh, for me, the uh, the Vada bags just work better than the uh, Ortley bags, um, and uh, uh, there are, there aren't too many other choices when you need something that's waterproof. Okay, so this is the rack time added. In I think 2007, it got a um, bicycle industry award in Germany. Um, uh, I think the main reason probably was uh, because of the second row here. Um, this is where the bag was mounted. Um, it uh, lowers the center of gravity, so as long as your you know your bag fits into it, uh, this is actually the best way to mount it. And uh, then you don't have any problem as far as any conflict between the. Uh, the bag and the uh, and the trunk bag, you know, which which I would have with these two if I didn't do that. Uh, the red stuff on the on the rack is um, 
Uh, it's sort of a personal phobia, you know. I I don't like to have things rattling on my bike at all, which is also why I don't use fenders. Uh, anything that makes noise disturbs me. I just want to hear what is going on around me. Right? Now, at the back of the rack uh, is a Bush and Miller light. I had had another Bush and Miller light before. Let me turn this one on. Yeah. And um, that one uh, was great, but uh, an older design. Um, but it did leak water after a while. Uh, this one is a new design. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it here. Actually, the light intensity sort of changes as a vehicle comes closer to the bike. And we're in the daytime, so you probably can't see that much of the light. But this uh, this particular light I've had what for almost two years now is really really great. Also, the water bags that I just show showed uh, are, are two years um, now. The uh, so to get back to the gaffer's tape on the uh, on the rack, uh, what that is is because uh, I don't like anything clattering. So after eight years of having uh, one or another trunk bag on on the back uh, of uh, of this rack, um, it was you know making some noise. So first I. Uh, uh, I taped over the contact points where it snaps in uh, and then I also taped up the rest of it on top so wherever anything could touch. The rougher the road, of course, the more rattle. So uh, I'm a big believer in gaffer's tape. I've, uh, you know, I'm uh, by education and by profession, I've, I've been most of my life a commercial photographer and uh, commercial photographers carry gaffer's tape with them all the time. So, uh, and anyone in the film industry too, so I still do. I also carry electrical tape, but the gaffer's tape is, uh, is still part of my, uh, uh, part of my kit. Um, and uh, that has solved the problem. So now it doesn't, uh, doesn't rattle anymore. And you can actually see where the, uh, the snapping part uh, makes contact. So it's, uh, it actually cut some grooves into the gaffer's tape, so that way I can see what's going on. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, that's uh, just, that's the, the story. Huh? Uh, today we've got a lot of light <laughs> coming from one side, so I can only really uh, make the video from this side. Um, so this, uh, this particular rack is connected at two points on each side. Uh, one of the reasons I bought this particular bike, the, uh, um, the, the, the specialized cross, uh, cross trail uh, sport uh, disc is because uh, it has a lot of braze on, so it just, um, you know, I knew that it would make a good touring bike or just generally a good bike for carrying things because my first concern was carrying camera equipment. Right, so, so here we are. This is the connection point down here. I don't want anything being like, uh, you know, the, the whole idea of connecting like a, uh, uh, a rack to the, uh, to the quick release system. That, that, that just, you know, I'm, I'm not interested in that. I, I, I want everything uh, uh, to be able, you know, I want to be able to take it on and off and uh, uh, have it connect in, in a place specially, specifically for it. Right. Um, and, uh, so, as you can see, the rack from bottom up, very, very well designed, well used, as I said, eight years. Um, and uh, there is the second level where, the, where, where the, the pannier connects, and then the pannier could connect if it was taller up on top, but then it would get in the way of the, of the trunk bag, right? Uh, and then the second connection point is closer to the frame up here. That's uh, that's pretty standard. I think um, uh, all bikes have this kind of a connection, or most of them should. All right, so this particular rack uh, is, as I said, from uh, from uh, rack time. Uh, I first had a rack time um, uh, trunk bag too, but. Uh, 
um, but I, I like the, uh, the Vada one better. So, uh, so uh, when I'm ready to buy another one, it'll be another Vada, uh, more than likely, unless something better comes out. Um, but, you know, if I can just show this a little bit closer up, without getting too deep into the shadow here. Um, so, very easy connection, just four screws, and it does, it does not rattle at all. Uh, the rattle you just heard was from the front end, <laughs> from, from the, uh, uh, the wheel hitting a rock, uh, but it's solid here, right? Nothing, no problem. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, what can I say? It was an expensive rack, but, um, um, but it's worth it. So. Uh, last thing I should say is that uh, uh, Vada and Racktime, both German products. Um, why there are so many good German products when it comes to uh, uh, touring? I assume it's mainly because there is there are a large number of people in Germany riding a bike every day, going shopping, going to on holiday, going to work. Uh, it is incredible. Um, some of the cities, like the city I come from, Oldenburg, which is uh, where actually where I was born and just recently uh, revisited, um, it seems like there are more bicycles than cars. Um, I, I guess there probably are, and the the cars um, actually they allow the bikes to go first. Uh, I, I had it happen where I'd come to an intersection. I wanted to stop and check something, but I'm stare there at the at the intersection, and then the cars start lining up, coming off of uh, the autobahn. They start lining up and waiting, and I wave them on, and they and they all shake their heads, because no way are they going to uh, uh, disobey the law, uh, and the law says the bicycle comes first. Um, another bicycle just went by. Yes, odd. I should. There was a bicycle that just went by. I didn't really see. I was too busy. Oh yeah, and there, there's two people. Hello. <laughs> um, and uh, the uh, so um, as far as anything else on the rear end here, uh, that is a cat eye light up there. As I mentioned before, this one is uh, Bush and Muller. Um, the cat eye I've had for eight years, this Bush and Muller for a little bit over two years. Great, both of them, you know, no problem at all. Um, and um, that basically ends it for the rear of the, of the bicycle. So over and out, uh, be uh, seeing you again soon. Okay. Yeah. Um, just uh, like and uh, and subscribe, please, 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 please subscribe. I need some subscribers.